Hello and welcome to another update video about oil. I'm still looking here at possibly further downside for oil. It is very stubborn though. Um, as you can see, it has not broken our trend line yet to the downside. The trend line we talked about in the previous video. So from that point of view, um, there is currently uh, no reason to panic. It's just moving sideways. And I would like you to take you through the different options that we have here on the chart. My view is still, and this is currently still the primary, hasn't been invalidated or anything. So the idea is still that we could be coming down here in a third wave next. However, other possibilities are there as well, but eventually they should, um, at the moment at least, still all take us further down. I'm not convinced that this move down is finished yet for oil. Yeah, I'm currently looking at this move that started back in November to the downside as wave one the current correction as a wave two. And also here in this wave two, different scenarios are possible, yeah? Um, I mean, we can currently see if I'm just draw, if I just draw the Fibonacci retracements of the wave one, then we can see that it basically reacted here to the 50% retracement. But let me just uh, choose the Fibonacci's. So here, it reacted to the 50% retracement and got rejected. So this is a key FIB level for a wave two. What I, and yeah, what, what I also wouldn't be surprised about is if we reset this wave two a little bit higher, that would become my primary expectation if we break above the $87 level, yeah, $86.93. If we do that, then I'm looking at this as a larger wave two to the upside. Um, how would that work? And by the way, which, which targets would we then see? Well, then we've got resistance at $90.49. That's the golden ratio that would, in my opinion, be the next likely target for a wave two. And even above that, we could still move all the way up to 94.61, the 78.6 FIB. Only above that, we can look at a different structure. It wouldn't know, it would not though necessarily be bullish. For me, the trend is still down. We haven't made any real higher highs here or higher lows. It is still all pointing to the downside, just taking a bit of time, consolidation, and um, from that point of view, the higher level scenario is still very much valid. Also because the move to the upside isn't really impulsive. I mean, if they had this been the end of a wave two here, yeah. So of course, you know, we reached our larger support area, our larger target for the wave two. So from that point of view, the primary expectation was anyway achieved, yeah. But only really the bare minimum. But had this been the case, then we should have seen a really, really impulsive rally. Now at the moment, I don't see that at all. So from that point of view, expectation still has to be further downside. Okay, is, if this is a one, two setup, I don't know. We put that onto the chart um, last time as an idea, but obviously it needs to follow through and break below the trend line and then below uh, $79. I would like to show you different options here. So the wave two to the upside possible and we could now be in the third wave down that will get less and less likely the longer this sideways action takes. Um, what else are the possibilities? Well, as I just said, we could just make a higher wave two. And I highlighted to you sort of the key levels. What if we even break above those key levels? What would happen then? To be honest, um, I would then recount this whole thing because I've, I've already looked at it. I would then look at the entire move down probably off the March highs as an A wave. So all of this would then be a large A wave. I would then look at all of the move that started down here as a B wave to the upside, possibly as another WXY setup or something or B wave uh, or ABC in itself. And then there should be a C wave down later, yeah? So this would be sort of the fallback scenario. I just can't see that we started a third wave to the upside yet, which would be the case had the if the low was already in, you know, then we would see basically a rocket start. Now I can't see that. Upside looks corrective or it's just sideways consolidation, really. I mean there there is possibly another idea where we count this here as some kind of a B wave triangle, but even then it should follow through to the downside yeah so yeah my, my view is still unchanged down um, as you might know we are here in a corrective structure a wave two yeah maybe finished maybe not yet the wave two um, 
is obviously a corrective structure and as a corrective structure we need to provide a, or we need to be a bit flexible here we need to be a bit flexible with um, corrections you have to basically expect that they morph into different patterns yeah the market in corrections hasn't fully made up its mind yet and sometimes you see a wxy morph into a triangle things like that can happen yeah it's not like an impulse impulse down would be fairly straightforward to trade a correction is always difficult um, I mean, I could also imagine, and um, that's sort of an idea that I had here, that this wave two uh, consists of obviously of ABC. We talked about that. Um, just an idea how this wave two could extend out if it needs to. Then we would say maybe the B wave unfolds here as an Elliott wave triangle, and we get a C wave up later. Yeah? Basically, the triangle A wave down, B wave up. Is that possible? Yeah. C wave down, D wave up. E wave down but then we should now break out to the upside or very shortly so that's a possibility as well okay but just showing you options here um because sometimes when i say you know the trend is still down and, and it goes up a little bit then people start to panic but actually nothing happened and it's just moved up and down a bit and it hasn't even broken above the the dotted line yet and even if it does as i said in the last video it is in my opinion just an extended wave too Okay, that's my update about oil. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.